Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T, and if true crime is your jam, and like me, you enjoy delving into unsolved cases, trying to figure out who done it, please consider subscribing. Also, if you find value in my content, please hit that like button. Very sad news today. In the Summerwells case, Jose Roman has died. If you don't know who he was, let me just give you a little understanding. Jose lived at the Wells property for several weeks or a month or so, depending upon which information you believe. And he gave Justice for All an interview a while back about his time at the Wells property, living with Summer, Candace, the boys, and even Don for a period when he returned from Utah. Um, He was also interviewed by Chris McDonough of the interview room, which was a very good interview. According to Justice for All, he's confirmed Jose's death via the family. And what they told him was that Jose was discovered deceased on Sunday, this past Sunday. Uh, No cause of death was shared, and it's my understanding that an autopsy and possibly, I guess, toxicology um, tests, which may be a standard part of an autopsy, I'm not sure, are being done, and that Jose's family is requesting that people respect their privacy at this time, leave them alone, do not try to contact them, do not try to interview them, And I really hope that everybody adheres to that. And I'd like to send prayers to Jose's family because he did have children and grandchildren and he was somebody's somebody. He was a family member to these people. He was a human being and he deserves respect at this time, no matter how you feel about him, good or bad or troubled or whatever. He was a human being and he deserves that at the very least. Until the next time on Bed Crime Stories.